Steve Kenyon available? He's out of the office until Monday of next week. Would you like his voicemail? Well, he's out until next Monday also. Well, no, I need to speak with somebody in regards to a filing. I guess mm -hmm. anybody in the court will do. Clerk of the, clerk of the courts. Mm -hmm. I filed some documents on the 29th of... Uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. I filed uh, a motion before the uh, uh, Supreme Court on July 29th of 2013, and I've been trying to contact Mr. Kenyon. I also sent an email to the Supreme Court today in regards to what's going on with that uh, filing that I had filed that I faxed to Steve Kenyon to be filed before the Supreme Court to have the state insurance fund. Uh, um, the appellant's motion to have state fund to back up their statements, their lies that they uh, spoke about at the uh, oral argument. How is this submitted to the court? I'm sorry. I faxed it on July 29th of 2013 before the Supreme Court of the state of Idaho. Mm -hmm. Supreme Court docket 40016-2012, the Industrial Commission's complaint docket number. Two zero zero eight one. I mean zero one three five zero five. Appellant's motion to have state fund to back up their statements, claiming is asking the Supreme Court to have the state insurance fund and the industrial commission to bring before the Supreme Court documents to back their statements that are on the CD received from the Supreme Court and the evidence that is on this CD that was sent mm -hmm. with this motion. Okay, I'm I'm looking at this case now and I see that there's a note on this that. Um, it's under re yeah. I just see that there's a note on here that indicates that you are not allowed to file anything uh, via email or fax that it has to be filed here in person. So uh, other than that, okay, now now that's where now I understand too that that was a uh, that was an order. Mm -hmm. Well, where's my copy of that order? Where is my mailed copy of any of these orders that have been told me by by emails? through Steve Kenyon's email address, and some of them have been sent to me through this uh, Supreme Court docket net. So well, I'm a little confused okay. on, on what's going on. I have not received no orders of nothing. All I can tell you is what I'm seeing here on our screen. And who is this? This is Clondy. Okay, Clondy. And all I can tell you is just what I'm seeing here. I can't speak for Mr. Kenyon or anybody else. I can only tell you what I'm seeing here on our system. And it indicates that that order was mailed to you, and that order indicates that no filings will be received unless they are filed here in person. Oh, now I'm being made to file in person well, when I, I live I, over 400 miles yeah, away? Sir, sir, yes, I am adding that language because the order, let me pull it and read it. Thank you very much. And I would like a copy mailed to me. I haven't received it yet. It has yet. been mailed to you. I, I haven't received it yet. I hope it was done certified. It was mailed to you more than once. I, I do know that. Well, ma'am, I haven't received nothing like that. Well, that's what we need to discuss with Mr. Kenny. Well, you need to show me a receipt of a letter that I received certified then. Uh, it says that you are not allowed to submit anything to this court uh, electronically, et cetera. Um, et cetera? What would that et cetera mean? Well, I'm just... Okay, I'm not reading it verbatim, okay? I just, you know, Well, I need you to read it verbatim here. now. Well, I don't have time to sit here and read it to you verbatim. This has been sent to you. And when? Can you give me a date? And the date it was entered by the Supreme Court was uh, 11th of July, 2013. Okay. So as I read this, this tells me since you're not allowed to file that way, then the only way you could file would be to <laughs> mail or come here personally and file your documents at the counter, or you can mail them to this court. Okay. That's okay. how I would, you know, read this, understand it to me, if they're not going to allow you to um, submit anything electronic. Yeah. I mean, that, you can't submit anything facsimile without uh, permission. going ahead of time and getting permission. So that don't make sense, because I was told on the, on the CD... In the Supreme Court, they told me, yes, you can file. It doesn't matter what that said then. This order is... Oh, so the Supreme Court justices lied to me. They did not lie to 
you. Well, they're the ones that told me at oral argument because I asked that Sir, question. Mr. Clark, okay, calm ma'am. down. Calm things down. Change. Okay. What they apologize. said a month ago, things change. This order is dated July 11th. It supersedes anything that you were told previous to this order. Oh, so the Supreme Court tells me one thing. And I haven't even really received anything because I question some of the things that have been sent through me by Steve Kenyon. Okay. Well, thank you for your time then, ma'am. You're very welcome. Um, Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <sighs> <sighs> yes, sir.